In the language of our people, we welcome you to Dalek Land. It is my great pleasure to congratulate all the finalists in the 2020 Zest Awards. Hello, I'm Chris Bath. I'm your host for the 2020 Zest Awards. What a pleasure it is to be back. But of course, it's not the Zest Awards without the host with the most, Tom Nance. Welcome. Thank you very much, Chris. I'm pleased to be here as the uh, creative director of the Zest Awards, uh, back again for its 10th year. Now, I reckon your creative direction is pretty good, but I think it would have had to have been next level this year in 2020. What have you done to be creative to get the Zest Awards to go ahead? Look, there were definitely some curveballs this year, but what we managed to do is surprise each and every one of our winners via a Zoom call. Originally, we were going to take a leaf out of the Nappy Sand Challenges book and kick down every single door. However, unfortunately, restrictions meant we couldn't do that. So what do the awards celebrate? Just remind us again. Look, the awards are all about Western Sydney, about the power that exists within its communities and the inspirational things that take place when people get together and make that difference. Well, let's look at our award now. This is the Outstanding Volunteer Leader Award. Sponsors make these awards possible, Tom. So, so tell us a little bit about the sponsor of this award. So the sponsor of uh, this year's Outstanding Volunteer Leader Award is the City of Parramatta Council and we've been lucky enough to have them on board for a number of years. And thank you again for your support, both Lord Mayor Bob Dwyer and City of Parramatta Council. Well, let's hear from the Lord Mayor right now. The City of Parramatta is proud to support and sponsor the 2020 Zest Awards and the work of the Western Sydney Community Forum. As a community, we are facing an incredibly difficult and stressful time. Still, Council continues to be amazed by the work of our community sector as you provide relevant, accessible and exceptional services. We thank you for these efforts and congratulate our nominees and winners for the building the resilience and capacity of our communities. Our local community is a better place because of you. Thank you again, Lord Mayor and the City of Parramatta for your support. So Tom, without further ado, what can you tell me about the nominees for the Outstanding Volunteer Leader Award? Well, we had six fantastic nominees this year, Chris, and all of our nominees do a range of inspiring things, but what they have in common is the impact they have on their local community. The independent judging panel this year had a really hard time separating our winner out. They always do. They do. <laughs> but before we get on to the winner of the award, there were a couple of uh, people who got a highly commended. So let's see who they are. The first highly commended award goes to Joe Clancy. And the second highly commended award goes to Saraswathi Sashi. Congratulations to Joe and Saraswathi. Now, I'm really excited, Chris, because I actually got to see a sneak peek of our winner being surprised by the Lord Mayor. So let's join them and see that moment firsthand. It sounds like you're making some success out of it, Nick, is it? You know, you feel you're, you're making that uh, making that difference in life by the sound of it. Def so definitely, definitely. I, I would have been doing this if I feel like I would have been making a difference, you know? Well, Nick, look, uh, I just don't want to interject at this stage, but look, you've won the uh, Zest 2020 Outstanding Volunteer Leaders Award. You've just won it. Fantastic news. <laughs> oh, what? <laughs> your eyes, your eyes give it away. <laughs> Congratulations. Oh yeah. my God. I don't even know what to say right now. Well, I think, Tom, you could see from Nico's reaction that he wasn't expecting that. So let's hear from the man of the hour. Welcome, Nico. Thank you, thank you. Thanks for having me. Nico, you're not someone who's often lost for words. It's safe to say you're a bit surprised about winning a Zest Award? 100% I am, you know, like, you know, considering I've never, never won an award before, you know what I mean? So it's, yeah, a bit hard to compose some words. Give us an idea of, of what you're proud of when it comes to the work that you're doing. Just to be, you, you know, well, notice really like like I, I don't con even consider it as work you know what I mean I, I just come here and just do what I do you, you know and just to be acknowledged or noticed for something you, you know it's yeah it's, it's a nice feeling like it's, it's very different. Nico that's really nice to hear and that's what Zest is all about being recognised I know the team at BISA think the absolute world of you so how has volunteering there made a difference for you? 
it's been it, volunteering here has been part of my healing journey in in like for myself as well it's like i boss allowed me to heal so now i want to help heal the people that come through to bisa you know so so i just want to give back to bisa what they gave to me well nikai it sounds like you giving it back in spades thank you so much for your time and congratulations thank you so much for having me thank you nikai's just a great human being isn't he and as we wrap up i'd like to take the opportunity to congratulate both nikai and all our other fantastic human beings who are our volunteers along of course with our sponsor city of parramatta thanks again to the lord mayor Bob Dwyer and the council for supporting us over the years. And if you want to share Nico's story, if you found it particularly inspiring, please do on social media because it helps spread the word about some of the wonderful things that are happening in Western Sydney and that's really what the Zest Awards are all about. That's it from us. We hope you'll join you for our other episodes. <laughs>